Hey guys, I'm Siobhan, a first year medical resident. Today is going to be a slightly different type of video. My goal is to just push back the curtains and let you see a different side of what it means to be a doctor. The last five weeks I've been on an ICU rotation and I've seen so much death and I've seen so many families grieving and I've had a lot of you ask, how do you deal with that? And the truth is I've had some tough days and I've had some tough moments. And so this is the video where I'm gonna talk to you about that really, really openly. So a few weeks ago, I got back from a really tough call shift and um, I went and I slept for eight hours straight and by the time I woke up, I still was just kind of feeling out of sorts and I felt like the best way for me to deal with that was to just turn on the camera and just vent and it was really spontaneous so I'm actually in my pajamas, I had just woken up, um, but take a look and I want you to know what I was really feeling in that moment. So last night I went to one of the most like, horrific codes that I've ever seen. Um, there was blood all over the floor. Um, this patient, I honestly, I didn't think they were even going to make it to the ICU. They did make it there. Um, we did everything we could. We resuscitated. We spent hours working to get this patient back, but they still passed away. Um, I know that's part of the job, I, I know that's what happens, but that wasn't the only thing. There was another patient who needed to get intubated in the middle of the night, which we did, um, had to get central lines in, um, another person who wasn't making any urine anymore, which meant that we had to start dialysis on them that night. Like It was probably one of the craziest, busiest nights I've ever had. Um, and the whole time, you're going, you're going, you're going. You just have to go from task to task. Every kind of cylinder is firing and you, you're just go, 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 go. But I don't think it's just about processing what happened the night before. You know, sometimes something will happen even um, a couple of weeks ago that you haven't had a chance to really think about um, or fully deal with the emotions that come with it. And for me, there was a patient who passed away and I got to know the family, even thinking about it I feel emotional, like I, I, um, it was really really tough to have to tell the, the family that this person had passed away and we did everything we could and there was actually nothing more that we can do. I actually really debated whether or not to share these clips with you guys and it just, it just feels so vulnerable and often in medicine it feels like we just kind of sweep these moments under the rug but I think it's important to shed light on it because we all experience it. So then the question really becomes, how do you deal with all these emotions and these huge life experiences? I think it happens on multiple levels and the first one probably happens in the hospital with the whole team. And I'm really lucky that in the ICU that I've been working at, there have been formal debriefing sessions after really tough codes. So all the nurses, doctors, respiratory therapists, all their students will get together and sit in a room and we get to chat about what went well, what didn't go well. And I think it really starts a dialogue where it's not just people in the hallways whispering about the experience, but we can all come together. But there's got to be something more after that, for me anyway. And a lot of that becomes more informal with other fellow residents who maybe understand the experience you've been through. Obviously for me, talking is, is big, right? I, I love talking on YouTube. Um, I'm someone who likes to connect with people to sort through my emotions and what I'm thinking. But I've got a lot of friends who would much prefer to go on a long run or to write or to journal and that's how they process. And I think just either way, you just need to find a way that's right for you. And sometimes after all of that, things still linger inside and I'm starting to learn that I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that those are the patients or the families that just stick with you and they make you a stronger, more empathetic person and doctor and that's in some ways a privilege that we get to see the full range in life from the biggest highs to the biggest lows and that's part of what drew me to medicine because it's so real and you get to have such an impact even if it can make some really really tough days. So I know it's a heavy conversation and out of this I'm hoping it will be a reminder to take care of yourself 
and also to look out for anyone else who may be struggling and to take care of them too. Lend an ear, lend a shoulder, whatever they need because we're in this together and this is what it means to be human is to be experiencing all of this, the good days and the bad. So I'm really looking forward to hearing your comments and hearing what you think. So bye for now and I will be chatting you guys really soon.